giving a match analysis for Nchanga Rangers versus Moza FC. The picture of this particular match was not too good. Hopefully, Zambian authorities can help improve uh, the picture of the Zambian Premier League or Super League. All right, here yeah, as uh, Nchanga Rangers have the ball, they are driving with it. What I like is what I like about Moza. They have managed to stay disciplined. Let me just show you with the line here. All their players in white, they're trying to form a single line. They're trying to have a proper defensive shape. Now, the problem with such formations is that you get a lot of space because they're trying to push the play one side or maybe Rangers decided to play on that particular side of the pitch so that they could open space on the other side. So there is this big amount of space and which here the player, sorry, the Rangers player will most likely definitely exploit. As you'll probably make a run there to try and put in a cross for his teammate to uh, you know make a goal scoring opportunity so what's supposed to usually happen here if you're going to play with this type of line you're supposed to have a oh, sorry, you're supposed to have a midfielder that will cover this area here which is uh, this space so they should at least they should have a midfielder Oh, sorry. Uh, they should have a midfielder that's gonna try and cover this space okay so I think these are supposed to be the midfielders one two three unfortunately they were taken out and since now this midfielder that is receiving the ball here has so much time and space to take that ball and carry out and think so yes if you're playing all four center backs like this you're supposed to have at least someone in the middle that's going to try and break down the play so let me remove this so that i can show you how this play ends up resulting so oh sorry i have to switch to desktop yeah all right, so here, as the ball comes in from the Musa, sorry, from the Rangers player, I do believe this player in particular, let me put out this, this player in particular here should have done a better job at pressuring the man with the ball here. Yeah, could have been a bit more tighter, the Musa player, but I understand he was trying to keep his shape. And then now here, in the middle, you have this two versus one. There is one attacking player and two defensive players. But if we carry on the video, you'll see that um, the man in the middle scores. So I don't know how this usually happens, but I think it's just a lack of just, I don't know, tracking back properly. Like following your man, you can be within your striker's area, but if you do not have any physical contact with him, or not close enough to put in a challenge, or just step on the ball, or try to get a block as the player shoots, you are not doing, there's not much you're basically doing. So let me run this video and show you. See, as the Rangers player puts in a cross, Someone, oh, it's actually someone else. I think that gets on the, that gets on that cross. But anyway, still, they had Musa had enough men to deal with that because even the player that was in the wing should have been put more pressure so that he did not have that easy cross, and it leads to a very well taken goal. Very very good. Unfortunately, we only have one angle of the goal. So as I was saying, the Zambian authorities could improve on that because we usually used to have at least two or three angles of a goal. But now I've gotten less. All right. Um, hopefully, right now I want to show you another. Should be is it goal scoring opportunity or so. So I will be skipping through most of these so that I can show you this. All right. Uh, okay, that did not lead to a goal. Okay, that did not lead to a goal. Okay, that led to a goal. So let's try uh, go back a few steps. We try and analyze what had happened. Oh, this is actually resulting from a corner. All right. So as the cross comes in, the ball is intercepted. All right. So let's pause this here. This is a corner routine. So most likely there were more players in the box. So which means, okay, they left a few players in defense. These two here. These were the safeguards. They did very well to leave these two behind. So this is them tracking back, which is well, but I hope as this video is going, they were doing a few, but I hope that they were able to not get in each other's way and probably like maybe try their best because we do know that this leads to a goal, but let's see what they tried to do, the defenders and everyone else. Yeah, the defenders and everyone else as that ball was coming in. All right, here, the boy is being pushed. That's the one mistake that he makes. He pushes forward. I understand that he was trying to get the ball, but if you do not get the ball, it will simply be passed by you. Because here, 
as the boy is moving forward i think he should continue tracking back just continue tracking back and hope for the best because once uh let me just get the marker oh i think an arrow will be better here yes because once this man runs and once he follows him once he tries to go for the ball and misses this man here this man will have so much space to run into and what that does is that it takes this Musa player out the game so now this man here will pass it will lay it to his teammate he will run with it and then now from a 2v3 this will now be a 2 sorry it will be a 3v1 let me just remove that and see how this play continues to unfold see here uh, very unfortunate but he did get back and continue running so now unfortunately this is where the goal comes from he is all alone here he has all the time and space to pick out one of his two teammates that are in the box he is in no man's land i can't really blame him he's trying to prevent the cross and then again he's trying to prevent the other two from scoring so there's not much he could do but a well taken cross sorry uh not well uh, well, some, somewhat of a well taken cross or pass puts it into the box slots it in very good finish from changa rangers let me see if i can try and find the last goal that they scored Here, as in Changa Rangers player has the ball. He chests it. I think it was way too easy for him to turn again at that defender and push into the box. All right, as play continues here. Ah, the Moza player tried to stop him from going through. But here, as we can replay this, this man. All right, let me get the marker. This man here. Yes, him. He was marking this man here, but now he's in no man's land, so he should probably try and help out his teammate. But unfortunately here, he probably gets a bit too physical. Unfortunately, we do not have a replay to see if maybe he dived or he didn't. But I think maybe it's a dive because it does seem like a shoulder to shoulder and the ref did the call it for an immediate penalty. Oh, sorry, let me get the desktop here. Yeah. All right, as we move forward, he falls down, ref calls a straight pen, and um, surprisingly, his teammates are the ones that are arguing rather than the person who actually made the foul. Very unfortunate, but since we do not have a replay, we can't really tell if that was a foul or not, and he does score a penalty, but we do not have footage of that. As I was saying, we really do hope that... Um, the Zambian authorities improve on this because we need more angles of the goals and we also need better camera quality. Otherwise, a good win for Nchanga Rangers.